YouTube, thank you for tuning back into the channel. Yes, sir. Bought some stuff off Highbed. I just went to go pick it up. I didn't film picking it up because it's in a warehouse. It's not really a lot to see. It's not really interesting. It is what it is, right? Now, as y'all know, I like to buy things off Highbed, but just the local auctions. I don't really like to do the stuff where I got to get it shipped and stuff like that because believe it or not, people who have those don't really know how to ship and they're going to charge you the most for shipping. And by the time you get you know your stuff here and you pay all the shipping your profits is not really that much now not only did i go and pick that stuff up i'm about to go to an easy state auction this is a thursday ain't a lot going on but there isn't any state sale today and i like to go to the ones on thursday because usually there's not that many people there you know what i'm saying people work uh fridays is kind of like that too but there's more people on friday anyway so let's go and see what they got i don't know what they got here uh i didn't see any pictures so we're gonna go and see what we see Yeah. Eight dollars. Eight. Must have fell off. Yeah. Eight. Nine. I mean nine. Excuse me. <laughs> Too early. <laughs> yeah, it is early. <laughs> in the Thank rain you. at the same time. She always should have won. No problem. Okay. Jane, I, I'm Dana, and I see you at a bunch of. I appreciate it. Thank well, you. Well, I'm, I'm like the plague. I'm everywhere. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm back home picking up the goods. I didn't show y'all. Um, it was just a warehouse. I picked up stuff and left, so I didn't want to get any of that footage. Me and my boy went in there and we picked some stuff up. And, um, yeah, let's see what we got and see what some of the stuff worth. I got this chair right here. Let's see what we got going on here. It's a little pimp chair. Look at it. I don't see anything on it, though, man. It opens up. It looks like a jewelry box or anything. They got it as a doll chair. I don't think that's what it is, but we're going to look it up and see if we can find any information on it. So I listed this for $48.99. There was one listed for $49.99. None sold. So there's only two on there. Hopefully mine sells because I got a dollar under the highest one on there. I don't know. It's the American Girl thing. I did more research. So hopefully it sells. I only paid, I paid $2 for that chair. So if I sell it for $40 something, it's always a win, right? Let's move on to the next thing. The next thing. 
is this church diagram type deal. Uh, look like my family at church, basically. <laughs> Let's see what it goes for. We're gonna do some Google. What do you call it? Google uh, Lens. Okay, look. Somebody got one listed for 200, and this is the exact same one, $295. That's the reason why I got it. Let me see if I can find some souls. All right, so this is my most expensive thing that I bought, which is $17.50. I'm looking on eBay, and eBay got some nice comps. I think that's why I was willing to pay up for it. Um, this one sold for one thirty-eight fifty. This one sold for two twenty-five, twenty-five dollars shipping, two ninety-five, fourteen fifty shipping. But this is a new in box. Uh, was this new in box? No, it was not new in box. So it looked like two thirty, two twenty-five. Come on, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Then there's some other ones on here, uh, and it's not many on here. Let me see. Those are the ones that um. Are sold. Let's go to the ones that's not sold. We got one, two, three. There's like three that's not sold. One's the highest one is two ninety five, two fifty, two ninety nine. So I might go for that two twenty five on him. Two twenty five on him. Let's list him real quick. All right, here we go. I listed it for. Two thirty nine ninety nine plus twenty dollars shipping. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, this piece was the piece they threw in. This was in a picture. I didn't even know this one came with it, but this is the piece I actually bought. Okay, I was wondering what, what was up with this piece. Number fifty five. I paid two dollars for this piece. So let's see what this is worth. So I've seen some listed for thirty dollars. So it's getting listed for twenty nine ninety nine. Plus shipping. Now some of these old portraits with the bubble glass, they do pretty good. I mean, I've seen them sell up into the hundreds, the two hundreds, depending on uh, what you got. But the thing is, you never know what you got. It's the next day. I got caught up with some stuff yesterday, so I decided to come to today, or push it to today, or you know what I'm talking about. I didn't have time yesterday. Anyway, it's the next day. That's why I got different clothes on. So I don't know what the list is for. All right. I think I'm just gonna go shoot high. Listed for like 120. That last item that I bought for $17, this right here, I already sold. It sold in a day. That's crazy. I figured it was gonna sell pretty fast because there's not that many on here. Um, the church. Oh, I don't wanna break it. This right here just sold for $240 plus shipping. It's crazy. What I am mad about is I am actually I accidentally turned on my ads. Uh, I put ads on some, some things, but some things that I think there's not that many on there. Are, if there's not that many on there, uh, I turn the ads off because it's easy to find. And I accidentally turned the ads on for this, and I turned on suggested ads, which was like 11 percent or 10 percent. Anyway, it took like twenty two dollars for the ad fee. Another thirty something dollars for the regular fee. So I'm like fifty dollars in fees. He may be killing. I'm telling you. Anyway, sold for two forty. When it's all said and done, I made a profit at about like one hundred and eighty dollars. It's still good. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't tripping for real. I told you twenty dollars shipping. It's gonna cost me fourteen dollars to ship it. I'm happy. I only spent seventeen dollars for it. You can't beat that. You got some Japanese pieces. It's two of them. There's a guy. Oh, girl. Depending on what you look like. But I think it's the guy. I think everybody back in the day dressed like girls. I don't know. Anyway, got these two pieces. They're Jap Japan pieces. I seen one, a comp for $60 or $63. I got mine listed for $59.50. I see figures all the time when I go to these state sales and stuff like that. And I never get them because I just don't know that much about them. Uh, I lucked up on an auction a couple of auctions ago on Happy It and Gas of Figures listed them and they sold pretty quick. You know what I'm saying? Like real quick. Uh, like matter of fact, these right here just sold uh, for 200 and something dollars. I need to pack these. And these are just little sculptures. Uh, but just knickknacks like that. I said, you know what? I'm going to start looking into because, you know, if you can get two or three of them and they sell them for like big money, like the one I just showed you like that. It's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times when you go to these state sales, 
they got them everywhere and you might have to sit there and do some research uh for a minute to figure out if you're getting something that um is actually worth something and a lot of times you can get them really cheap you know like for instance these right here i pay like two dollars a piece 200 something dollars 17 dollars it's sold for 200 and something dollars um sometimes you can get lucky and just find some of these uh, little knickknacks like that and get big money because the vintage ones people really want them so um yeah if you go somewhere and you see something like that make sure you do research um on some of them because it can be big money sitting there and you might not even know it like a lot of this stuff doesn't interest me at all like i wouldn't keep any of these figures for the most part well i like this one this reminds me of my church but i still wouldn't keep that because come on maybe my wife not even my wife but for me, being a part-time seller, I'd rather get a couple of those than get a bunch of $15, $20 items that I got a list packed into all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. Let's move on to the next one. So, as you can tell by the video, I went to an estate sale as well. And I pretty much showed you the two things that I got. That's why I didn't make it a separate video. I got this police hat, which these always do good. I paid a dollar, as you can see right there. And this is about like a $25 to $30 hat. Hats... I love getting hats because they small. They usually cost a dollar or two. And um, some of them you can get some real good money for. So I always buy hats. That's why I got so many of them. I got like probably 500. I need the list. And I also got this bad boy here. It's a, um, edition one out of, it's actually number one out of 1,012 uh, military memorials or whatever. And I seen one of these listed for like $80. I paid $8 for it. The price fell off of it. She asked me how much it was. And I was truthful. I said eight. I probably could have got it for $2 or something. But that's how I am, man. I believe bad energy comes back on you. Or good energy put off comes back on you. Right? So if you do good, your life will be good. If you do bad, your life will be bad. So I'm always truthful. You understand what I'm saying? Straight I do ads on like everything, especially because I get things so cheap. You know, I get hats for a dollar, seven for thirty. If I do a ten percent ad, it's only taking what three dollars away, and I'm still twenty seven dollars into it with the dollar off, so twenty six in dollars. So I'm happy to do ads on a lot of stuff. Now stuff like I just sold some easy. Matter of fact, I got shipped these. I just sold these, and those sold for a hundred dollars. But I know those are gonna sell without ads. They sell so quick. They sold the same day. I put them on there. All right, and um. Stuff that I know is going to sell real fast, I don't do ads on. But stuff like sculptures and things like that that I know is going to sit for a little while, I throw ads on them so to push it to the top. That way, if somebody's looking for it, they will buy mine. You understand what I'm saying? With all that being said, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all be good. Peace.